So for Pepper's birthday present, Pete and I couldn't decide what to get her. Um, obviously she's just one, so it's not like she's asking for anything. So I saw this thing on Pinterest and you take an old cozy coop, which are those little red and yellow like van things that kids can sit in and walk with their feet. You take that and then you paint it and redo it and make it look like a VW Bug. <laughs> and her party is like a retro 70s theme. So I thought that would be like a perfect little add-on. So I bought this cozy coop for probably, I think it was $10, $15. Um, it is very used, <laughs> very well loved, missing some pieces. So anyways, I bought an old one because so I'm just gonna paint it. So um, I'm gonna paint it pink and white. It's gonna be so cute. I got a little VW logo. I'm gonna put a license plate on there for her with her name on it. Um, um, so wish me luck. I am not historically a very good spray painter. I always get like all the drips. So anyway, we will see. Hopefully I don't totally blow this, but I'll take you guys along the ride. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so I've already taken it apart. As you can tell, like that's the roof. Those are the sides. This is what I have to paint. I'm gonna paint that white. This will be pink. Um, and I'm gonna do some trim work. You can tell it's really like sun bleached and all that. So there's really no point in getting a brand new one because I'm just gonna paint it. So wish me luck. All right, so here's all the supplies that I used. Um, I will walk you through some like how to's on these two when we get to that. But as far as the paint, I got like four or five cans of this. I did the Krylon um, paint and primer and I got flat white. You can do satin, you can do gloss, you can do whatever. But just for that initial coat, I did the, um, the flat white and make sure it says for plastics um, just because that's what we're painting. And then for the top coat for the pink, I just did Rust-Oleum Candy Pink Gloss. Um, and again, it says for plastic. So no like preference on the brands. They both did great. I just liked this pink um, the best. I did about two uh, cans of this and I used about four of this. So one piece that's really important to do is make sure you clean your car really well. I washed mine off with a hose and then I also took Windex and really got in there and made sure there was no buildup anywhere. If you have a lot of buildup, you might wanna get something a little bit stronger, but that way it's really clean and dry when it's time to paint. This is already not going well, I can't get the top off. <laughs> I did about three coats of this white on the top and the bottom. It took longer than I thought. At first, it kind of doesn't look like it's going to adhere very well, but it does. You just have to give it a few coats. I did white on the whole thing, even though we are going to paint the base of it pink mostly. There are some trimming points that I want to make sure stay white. Then to protect the wheels and the steering wheel, I just threw a grocery bag on top of it. Super easy. I taped off the V. Um, make sure you get that angle exactly how you like it. And then I just put saran wrap over the top part that I don't want the pink to get on to keep that V shape white. And then I just started spraying the pink. Um, that was super rewarding. <laughs> And then you'll take the tape off. I think I waited just about 12 hours. Um, you can wait longer if you want, but it did pull in some areas a little bit of the paint off, so I just touched that up. Okay, for the trim part, this trim I got on Amazon. It's looking pretty squirrely right now, but it has a um, 3M adhesive on the back, and so it's super easy. You don't have to do like any extra bonding, and it's really easy to cut. So see, it's like really flexible, but you'll just peel that off, peel the adhesive off, and then you're ready to go. This blue part comes off, it just peels right off, so it's just kind of protecting it. Super easy, super easy to cut. So I got these Volkswagen emblems on Amazon, actually. I think they're meant to like go on the wheels of a golf cart. Um, so they have these little ridges that you're gonna wanna break off. Um, I just did it with my hand, they're really, I mean, it's not super easy, but if you push hard enough, uh, they pop off. And then I just put double-sided tape. It is a little like concave. It is a little concave in there, so you're gonna need to make sure you put the double-sided tape in the right spot. You can even build the double-sided tape on top of itself to like kind of create a level area that you can tape. Or I think there is on Amazon, they also have just like metal like stickers, which would be a lot easier. Putting the car back together might have been the hardest part of this whole project. Um, it's really not hard. I just had never done it before and um, it was a little bit tricky. What I learned is you gotta kind of just position them right and then they pop in if you push them hard enough. And one thing um, you can't really see here is make sure you get those screws back in. And this is the finished product. I was so happy with it. It's so fun. I love that little bit of gloss shine on it. 
I just had some fun and added some flowers in the back just to make it look extra cute. Um, but this was the finished product and she loved it. We don't normally do projects like this on this vlog. It's more of kind of like a family vlog, but since this was part of Pepper's birthday party and her present, I wanted to just upload this. I've had a lot of questions on how to make over these cars. So I hope it was helpful. I hope it was enjoyable. Um, if you're doing this, good luck. And if you wanna see more of our vlog, please subscribe and you'll see all of our other videos there, including her birthday party, which you can see a little bit of here.